Welcome to worship at Trinity Lutheran Church. We continue to host two in-person worship services at 8.15 and 10.45 on Sunday morning. And we also host an outdoor hymn sing in the parking lot without singing except by vocal leaders, great social distancing, wonderful fellowship, great music. 6 p.m. Also, I'd like to remind us that in some new and unconventional way, we are going to hold a congregational meeting on the Sunday morning of September 27th. That's next Sunday. It's going to begin at 9.15. There'll be some who are present here in the sanctuary. There'll be some who are present by way of Zoom. And there'll be some who are present in their cars in our parking lot. So if any of those ways work for you, then, then please join us. In the meantime, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, before whom all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth of God is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's respond to God's invitation by offering together this common form of corporate confession. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, Lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Hear the good news. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given his only Son to die for us and for Jesus' sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister in the Church of Christ, I am under orders to share with you the good news that all of your sins are forgiven in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, you make the first last and the last first. As the heavens are high above the earth, so your ways are way above our ways. Fill us with your grace, prepare us for the work of your kingdom, and help us to order our lives by the ways of your wisdom. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 